In this video, we will be seeing about prolonged pregnancy. So, as we all know, normal pregnancy period is about 280 days or 40 weeks from the first day of last menstrual period. So, this is the duration of normal pregnancy. So now what is prolonged pregnancy? Prolonged pregnancy is when the duration exceeds 42 completed weeks that is 294 days or more from the first day of last menstrual period so this is the definition for prolonged pregnancy and as you have seen in the normal labor the definition of normal labor states that the normal term pregnancy ranges from 37 to 42 weeks so anything more than 42 completed weeks that is more than 294 days from the first day of LMP is considered to be a prolonged pregnancy So, this prolonged pregnancy has increased risk for the fetus, there can be intrauterine death and for the mother there could be increased morbidity. So, because of these reasons prolonged pregnancy is also dangerous. We should avoid it as far as possible. Now coming to the etiology for prolonged pregnancy. The etiology includes wrong dates which is the most common cause for prolonged pregnancy. Primary para previous history of post-term delivery, any genetic factors, obesity and also male fetus. All these are the common etiologies for prolonged pregnancy. And it was also found that there is genetic predisposition for prolonged pregnancy and it runs in families. Now how can we diagnose prolonged pregnancy? The diagnosis requires accurate estimation of gestational age. So, this is done based on the history of menstrual cycle that is the menstrual history in which we ask about the regularity, length of the cycle, about the blood flow, duration etc and all the pregnant women should undergo a first trimester ultrasound examination between 11 and 14 weeks because this is a more accurate method for gestational age estimation. And the scan taken during the first trimester will be the most reliable. Next is If 
LMP is not known or if it is unreliable then second trimester ultrasound can be used for gestational age estimation and for the estimated date of delivery but it has decreased reliability when compared to the first trimester USG. And other methods for finding out EDD include so the EDD is approximately equal to 36 weeks from the day from which there is positive HCG test that is from the UPT being positive 36 weeks gives the estimated date of delivery or it is around 20 weeks from hearing the fetal heart rate but these are not much reliable so this is about the diagnosis now coming to the perinatal morbidity and mortality So, the prolonged pregnancy has a prenatal risk which is increased at more than or equal to 42 weeks of gestation. And the risks include the risk for neonatal seizures and neonatal death two times risk is seen when the delivery occurs at more than 42 weeks so what are the reasons behind the perinatal morbidity the reasons include the fetal hypoxia fetal asphyxia Also, there is fetal distress due to cord compression and this cord compression in turn is associated with oligohydromnios. Also, there can be meconium aspiration syndrome. macrosomia that is big baby and shoulder dystocia can be present during delivery and there could be birth trauma during delivery to the baby as well as mother so this is very little morbidity and mortality now coming to something called as post maturity syndrome so the appearance of post mature infant is characteristic and the infant has the following characters which include the skin of the infant is wrinkled patchy and peeling type particularly on the palms and soles 
and the infant has long nails it is open eyed has a long thin body worried look and these skin changes are due to the loss of protective effect of vernix caseosa so this is the appearance of an infant that is the post mature infant having wrinkled patchy and peeling skin especially on the palms and soles long nails open eyes long thin body and the infant has worried look so this is all for this part of the video in the next video we'll see about the fetal surveillance the antepartum fetal surveillance and the induction of labor intrapartum problems and their management regarding to prolonged pregnancy thank you